Thank you. Hey, you're a Pokemon trainer, aren't you? You want me to teach move Iron Head for 3k? Iron Head is really good. Iron Head on Dragon Rock could be pretty worth it. Actually, it'll be great on Dragon Rock because Dragon Rock uh, needs to be able to hit fairies. This is a dragon type. I kind of want to keep Axel Rock and Rock Slide, so I guess I lose Bite here. Yeah, I mean, we won't be able to hit Psychic or Ghost type super effectively, but we just like Rock Slide those. I mean, we can Rock Slide fairies too, but I want Iron Head. Paris is abundant in the Safari Zone. Their effect spores keep giving me allergies at you. Yeah, it sucks, dude. Pokemon are everywhere in Future City because of the zoo in the Safari Zone. I love it. Bum, 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 bum. Hotel. I want side quote. You have a Mr. Mime here now. Wow, wow. Welcome to Fuchsia's Hotel. All right, I don't want to... Wait a minute. What's this about? Most hotels don't have the second doorway here. Oh, hello. Oh, your darling Pokemon. They look so tense from my life fighting. You should let me groom them while you relax by the pool. Would you like me to groom one of your Pokemon? Okay, then. I assume that's a friendship boosting thing. That's what massages normally are in Pokemon. I heard that Koga, this town's gym leader, got approached to be part of the Elite Four, but he had to turn the offer down to take care of his family here in Fuchsia. Well, wait. Wait until uh, a couple of years from now. You can use the moves Moonlight and Morning Sun to wait for the night and morning when you're out in the fields. Oh, that's really cool. It's useful if there isn't a hotel nearby. That's really neat. <coughs> Ugh. Oh, wow. You guys got a... You got an extra quest person in here. Normally, it's just three of you. Ouch, I was sitting by the water's edge in the safari zone, dipping my toes in the lake when something came by and bit my tail. Couldn't see what it was, but it must have had some really sharp teeth for how much it hurt. I love hanging by the safari zone's lake, but now I don't dare go back there unless I know what bit me. Why you try to find that sharp tooth Pokemon for me? Okay. Thanks, I owe you one. Bitey Pokemon. A fisherman wants to know what is the sharp tooth Pokemon that bit him in the safari zone lake. Alright, so we gotta find uh, sharp tooth water Pokemon in the lake, I guess? Think you're a fast racer? I'll give you something if you can beat my best time up the cycling road. What do you say? This sounds fun. So eager to race, I like that. Okay, then come meet me at the bottom of cycling road. All right, bicycle race. That sounds cool. Beat the cyclist at the bottom of Route 17 and beat her time up cycling road. Found this poor Chansey over there all alone near the safari zone. Could you help investigate and try to find the trainer it belongs to? Lost Pokemon, find lost Chansey's trainer. All right. Bunch of Grimer have started appearing on Cycling Road. It's really quite unsanitary. I would go get rid of them myself, but I don't know how to fight. Could you help me get rid of all the Grimer on Cycling Road? Sure. Cleaning up Cycling Road, get rid of all the Pokemon dirtying up the road. Got it. Okay. Found this Lost Chansey near Safari. Help me find who it belongs to, right? And then we gotta find the Pokemon that bit you. Was it Melodic Altaria Fusion? The teeth marks on your toe. All right, we can figure this out. Uh, I want to go do the cycling road race immediately because I think we were one quest away from another reward. Oh, it's Janine. I specialize in poison type Pokemon just like my father and grandfather before him. I'd love to train a Golbat. Do you have one? I'll trade you Gligar for it. Oh, it's too bad. I can get a Gligar in the wild anyway. Very cool for Janine to be there though. Very neat. What's going on in these buildings? Musharna. Oh, Pokemon trainer, please do try to keep your voice down to not disturb, disturb my sleeping Musharna. Tell me, do you know about hidden abilities? Yes. I would assume no less from a young, accomplished Pokemon trainer as yourself. Thanks to my trusty Musharna's ability to peek into the dream world, I'm able to locate Pokemon with rare abilities. Right now, I can detect that some of the Pokemon around Route 13 might have their hidden ability. Hidden ability Pokemon rarely stay in the same spot for long. You should head there quickly if you want a chance. All right, I don't, I don't care enough to try and hunt down hidden ability Pokemon. Oh, my back hurts really bad. Oh, this Abra is just teleporting around. I'm lucky to have a Machoke here giving me massages. <laughs> Safari Zone makes it easy for everyone to catch lots of Pokemon. Because of this, almost everyone in the city keeps Pokemon as pets. How nice. Bum, bum, bum. Okay. <coughs> Sorry, still slowly dying. Hello. Gotta go fast. Yeah, like Knuckles from Sonic. Ooh, that's really good. I bet Altaria Torterra looks sick. Um, I think you're Dragon Grass. 
Your stat buffs mean nothing to me. Ooh, that wasn't super effective. So your grass... Uh, oh my word! Tyranetto, I want one! Be dark, not water. Ow, that looks like dark stab to me. Ow. Crit. Oh, okay. Why? Well, I mean, like, you're dead now. I want a Tyrant so bad! Oh, I want a Tyrant! I want a Tyrant and I want it now! Man, that's so awesome! Ouch. Oh, you're not Dragon? Oh, you're Rock. You're Rock Dark. Whoopsie. Man, that thing is incredible. Accelerock. I almost lived that. Tarantrum has incredible defense stat. Aqua Tail. Kind of tempting. I mean. But it, Aqua Tail is just hit ground types, because I'm going to use Rock Slide against fire types. So it's like really only going to help with ground, and then we have Iron Head for rock types? Eh. I want this slug shall I do evolve. They kicked me out of the cycling road, but riding a bite on, bike on the grass isn't the same. Mimicargo? Okay. Why does it have a tire? Why does it have a tire? <laughs> this is really funny looking. It's got a friggin' tire. Hey, if you were a ghost type and not a fairy type, you would tell me, right? He didn't tell me. Are you- are you fire ghost? You gotta be fire or rock, so Water Pulse is gonna get the job done. Dead. Shantar. Okay. This is a Pupitar, isn't it? Didn't we see a Pupitar Chansey fusion earlier, but it was reversed? It's really interesting. This Chansey should give enough experience, hopefully, that we get McCargo here. Will you die to this Water Pulse? Actually, I'm okay if you don't. Okay, hold up. Give all of the experience to Slugchula? Perfect, let's go. Here we go, chat, here we go. Not this time. Oh boy, please be amazing. Oh, it looks like a bigger version of itself? It looks very similar. Oh, okay. It, j it gets the rock, basically, which I'm super down with. Yeah, Magdala is pretty sick. I dig it. Especially, like, Fire Electric is such a fun typing. It really wants me to use Sticky Web. Oh, I forgot that Macargo gets Shell Smash. Is this allowed? Like, is that okay? D am I allowed to, like, have something that powerful? If you don't kill Magchula on your first hit, then, like, it it's game over. I just need it to have something that can hit, like, a rock type. <laughs> I think we could do better, uh... I think we could do better coverage than Signal Beam. Is the main thing. But Bug also works for now. And it's mild nature, so it's got special attack up. Ooh, baby. Ooh, baby. Alright, awesome. Very glad to finally have that bad boy. What the heck is that down there? It's like a hay bale. 
I need to, uh... Hello, Stantler. I'm gonna look around and just see if we get any cool encounters, but we're gonna use the poker radar here in a second, because, like, Torchic was on Cycling Road, Cyndaquil was just outside of Cycling Road. I don't know if this little... I don't think this spot counts as the same as Cycling Road, because I don't think I saw Stantler on the Cycling Road poker radar. Which means, uh, Trico or Mudkip might be here, and I really want Trico. Like, really badly. No. No. We're not... No. We're not even entertaining the idea. What if I fused it with Snorlax, though? No, we're not... Don't let the intrusive thoughts win, Chaos. I do like Firo. Really? You wanna die, bud? <laughs> Ugh. Zap. Oh, no, 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 no. Mm, beware. Nothing neat there. Might, uh, might have a difference in the daytime, though. Kill me. Let's take a spin around Fuchsia and see what else we have going around in Fuchsia. And now we're gonna start leveling up Ezbat a lot. Oh wait, 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 wait. We need to go do that race. Race on Cycling Road first, then we explore Fuchsia. Hello. There you are, I've been waiting for you. Okay, here's the challenge. You have to get to the gate at the top of Cycling Road and pass over all five checkpoints I've laid out. Checkpoints? It isn't so easy. You also have to beat my high score. I'll give you something if you make it up there in less than 16 seconds. Get ready, set, go. Move. Go, 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 go. I am the greatest to ever do it. Wow, this was great. You even beat my time. I'm simply amazed. Please come back and see me at the Fuchsia Hotel to get your reward. Yeah, I'm a gamer. It's actually the easiest money ever made, chat. Nothing to worry about when you're a pro gamer. I'm even sick and I still ace that. Incredible. Hello. Right, your reward. Of course, I didn't forget. As a reward for your racing prowess, I'll upgrade your old bicycle for a superior racing bicycle. You'll be able to go much faster after I'm done. What do you say? Why not? So it's like we we changed out our acro bike for a mock bike. Here, all done. Enjoy your newly upgraded bicycle. How nice. Bum, 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 bum. That should be 20 quests. I think you have something for me. We've accepted 25 quests, 5 are in progress, 20 completed. How do I know that? It's my secret. Also, there's one more thing. As a gift for having helped so many people, I want you to have this. Sleeping bag. This handy item will allow you to sleep anywhere you want. You won't even need hotels anymore. I have no more rewards to give you. Thanks for helping all these people. Oh, we're already done with all the rewards? I thought we'd have a lot more than that. Okay, but now we can just change time whenever we want, is what you're saying? I can, like, make it night or day at my command? It's pretty neat. It's useful. It doesn't say anything, apparently. Hi, Snorlax. Snorlax's typical day consists of nothing more than eating and sleeping. It's such a docile Pokemon that there are children who use his expansive belly as a place to play. Dudes live in the dream, honestly. Victory Bell is the final form of Bellsprout and Weepin' Bell. It is said to live in, the, in huge colonies deep in jungles. Good for it. Safari Zone is much too intense for my old nerves. Thankfully, I can still come to the zoo to relax while watching exotic Pokemon. Whoa, it looks like they're about to fight. Scyther is blindingly fast. Its blazing speed enhances the effectiveness of the twin size on its forearms. Its scythes are so effective they can slice through thick long... I was gonna say thick longs. Thick logs in one wicked stroke. Pincers, pincers are strong enough to shatter thick logs. They do. These guys hate logs. Although it's tough, it, can hand, it can't handle cold well. When night falls, it buries itself in leafage and sleeps. Is there a cottony in there hiding? Pokemon trainer, we met before, I remember you. I brought back this special flute for my travels. Show me the city's badge. He's got another dang flute for me. They say this Pokemon is from a faraway region called Unova. I've never seen anything like it. 
Cottony is a grass-type Pokemon native to the Unova region. It shoots cotton from its body to protect itself. If it gets caught up in a hurricane-strength wind, it can get sent to the other side of the Earth. Oh, is that all? Is that all? All right. How do you feel about shiny Salamence? I don't remember what shiny Salamence looks like. What, was that a fossil or a living Pokemon? That's a... Uh, whatchamacallit? Almanite. Welcome to Safari Zone. <coughs> Nidoqueen is the final form of Nidoran female. It uses its scaly, rugged body to seal the entrance of its nest and protect its young from predators. Nidoking is the final form of Nidoran male. It uses its powerful tail in battle to smash, constrict, then break the prey's bones. Rude. Dodro is one of the fastest running Pokemon in the world. It vigorously races across grassy plains, even in arid seasons with little rainfall. I wonder how it would feel to ride on a Dodriel. I wonder. Shiny Salamence carries the green curse. Oh, I remember what it looks like. I think it looks fun. It's not like one of my favorites, but I don't think it's bad. Probably like the default look more, but still. Oh, we can just buy Super Splicers. I thought they said these were really rare. Not rare at all. Literally mass produced and sold. I'm gonna buy a couple of these. Bum, bum, ba, na, na, na. Hyper Potions still do 200 HP in this game. I'll take a couple of them as well. Getting a little low on money. What do you have, special Mart person? Mm, repeat Ball? Eh. I need to buy Ultra Balls to catch some strong Pokemon. Apparently gems are made from the pressurized droppings of Pokemon. Okay, that's disgusting. It's rare for anyone who doesn't have a membership card for the local Walmart. Oh, of course. Uh, Safari Zone is full of rare Pokemon. <coughs> That's where I found my Scyther. Scyther, Sai. All right. Welcome. How may I serve you? Mm. Small souvenir from the Fuchsia City Safari Zone. It's the dude's teeth. I'm buying this. Probably need it for something. Sweet honey with an aroma that attracts wild Pokemon when used in grass caves or on special trees. Interesting. Well, chat, let's hit up the Safari Zone. Welcome to the Safari Zone. For just 500, you can catch all the Pokemon you want in the park. Would you like to join? Let's go. How does this place stay in business? How do they have enough Pokeballs? Or enough Pokemon, I mean. We only use a special kind of Pokeball here. Thank you. We'll call you on the PA when you run out of time or Safari Balls. Good luck. Trainer tips. Press start to check remaining time. 600 steps, huh? When that guy said the thing that bites in the lake, does he mean it's in the water or is it not? That is the question. Is this like Pokemon can encounter here? Oh, you can get on these. Okay, but no, it doesn't. Weird. Oh, oh, oh. I just immediately threw a ball. Slacking though. Slacking though. I'm gonna bait it. Hold bait. So, chat, fun fact I don't know how the Safari Zone works. Of all my years of Pokemon, I, I don't understand how you, like, make it where the Pokemon is more catchable or not in the Safari Zone. I literally have no idea. But I'm incredible and caught it anyway. I like that one. These are all pretty good. Wild monkey Pokemon. All right, we gotta like few slacking with something. What on earth? This is Scyther and uh, Galvantula? That is awesome. I'm just gonna let that one go. That is really cool though. Okay, we should try and get deeper in. What's in here? Hi. Where did my boyfriend Eric go? Oh. I'm catching Pokemon to take home as gifts. Trainer tips, different Pokemon can be found in different Safari Zone areas. Be sure to explore everywhere. That's what I'm freaking doing, bro. Can I use the Poker Radar? I can. Trico is in here. So is Riolu. Yeah, well, I mean, we gotta get Trico and Riolu. 
I'm really annoyed that Trico is in the Safari Zone, though. Oh, there's a Riolu. Because I bet its catch rate is still stupid small. Which means I'll probably need to mess with it off stream. Alright, well, we got Riolu now. What the heck am I going to fuse Lucario with? Lucario Blaziken? Maybe? You know? I don't know if I'll actually use this Rhyhorn, but I bet Rhyperior has some sick fusions. We've seen some cool Rhyhorn ones. 